What is up everyone? So uh, today we finally get to show some attention to my beautiful little E30. And it might seem a little random to work on today, but the opportunity has arose and I am taking and running with it. So if you don't know this car, this was my drift car like last season. I was obsessed with it. Everyone who drove it loved it. It didn't make sense how good it was. It was an S52 swapped E30 sedan with light suspension mods. It didn't make sense how good the freaking car was. And well, it got hit pretty damn bad. We bent the front frame rail. And a couple months ago, my buddy Sean was able to straighten the frame for me and I'm still so, so thankful for that. But there's one more thing we need to do until we can get the engine back in this thing and make it running and driving. And that is painting the engine bay. Because if you could see, it was whacked with a hammer a million times to get straight, you know? And then there's quite a bit of surface rust in here. Because it's an 80s car, I mean, it's old, it just happens. And I figured the car deserved more than just a spray paint job. So the last couple months, Brian has been pretty freaking busy. But this week he told me if I can get the thing up to a shop, he can get it done for me. And I'm taking that opportunity and I'm running with it and I'm excited. So what we'll be doing today is stripping this thing apart, cleaning it up, bringing up to Brian's shop and letting him work his magic. And he's been up to some pretty cool stuff lately too. So I'm excited for you guys to see what he's been getting into and well, I'm just happy. I'm happy it's gonna get done. So, uh, we got a lot of work ahead of us, so let's get this thing stripped apart. Perfect timing. Looks like Mr. B Hall himself has actually showed up on his lunch break, which is awesome. So now he could tell me exactly what he wants ripped out to make his life a little bit easier. You want me to actually remove all of this? I want you to take off as much as possible. <laughs> okay, I think <laughs> I think we were gonna go there. Yeah, I mean it's definitely gonna make my life easier when it comes to both working and painting if there's not a bunch of stuff in the way. Fair world. enough. I'll just take all the brake stuff off. No biggie. Start fresh this season, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, this thing's gonna be nice. The last time we put the motor in. We just kind of did a couple of uh, rattle can areas where we modified and sent it. What's going on in here? I'm trying to get the booster out. It's just tight. Because you're big. I'm big. Those guys look tight up there. Yeah. No, you got good room, though. Yeah, it could be worse. Yeah. Did you miss that smell of mothballs or what? No, I hate it. I love it. I don't know why. Because it just like... A lot of people like it. It reminds me of like under a shed. <laughs> You know what it is? It's not that I like the smell, it's just the smell reminds me of this car and like all the awesome times I had in it. You know, I like it. The memories make you like it. Exactly. I wish they could smell it through the camera because this no, thing I is don't. strong. They would exit out of the video. <laughs> oh yeah, wow, that's a slim booster. That's a Mark II golf booster. Are you comparing it to it or is that factual? It's factual. You need to put a smaller booster in here when you do the E24 valve swap. Oh, life hacks. <laughs> you know what? I wanted to redo a lot of this wiring though, so. Now it gives you a great excuse. Now it's a good excuse. It's a lot of wiring, but it's not a lot of wiring. Yeah, yeah. BMW likes to do this thing where uh, they make wiring look way more overwhelming than it actually is. Messy. <laughs> I guess that's just a German car thing. What's nice is the BMWs, they always use these power blocks, right? So we have one right here. So anytime we needed a power source, it's kind of just bolted straight to this thing. Which are you, you're a fan of? Yeah, because it's an easy power source. Right and there. Right there, that's it. That's the power fuse blocks. Get out of here. This thing comes off like a battery terminal, so that's actually pretty dope. They thought of everything. Yeah, isn't that kind of cool? Yeah, that is. So it just like almost just puts a battery terminal there since they come factory with the battery in the trunk. Even though there is a battery tray here, because I think the verts came with batteries in the engine bay. So they just made all of them have battery trays in the engine bay. Uh, don't look at me like I know. <laughs> There's just so many things like wired into this car. And it was just kind of like one of those things where you're just like, add this, add this, add this. So it was just a bunch of bulky stuff. So hopefully this time I can kind of consolidate all the wiring and make it a little bit nicer since I know exactly like what's what, what's what now since, you know. This looks like a nightmare. Can you right simplify here. that a little bit? Do oh, like I'm a little of your gonna. magic? I'm gonna, cause you, you look at this and it just looks so dreadful. This is how they come, like this? Like <laughs> no, it's just like, you know, the 24 valve swap and then I added a bunch of gauges and functions on the ECU to interact with it. And 
This is what you got. <laughs> have, fun, have fun with that. I'll leave that one to future Jim. Not this guy. So that was the last of it. The only thing we have left in the engine bay is the fuse box itself. It's unbolted, but unfortunately it, uh, it attached to the chassis through the firewall right there. And to remove that out of the car, I'd have to literally drop everything onto the dash. It would be a nightmare and I'd probably make more wiring issues for myself in the future. So I'm gonna try and see if we could leave it in. If Brian really needs it out, obviously I'll spend the time and take it out, but I'm gonna cross my fingers that we could leave it in there. So this thing's filthy. It's got a bunch of residue from the old insulation. You know, there's fluid everywhere. So let's give this thing a solid power washing and I think it should clean up extremely well. And I'm actually really excited to see it. Time to wash this grime off and make it look a little bit nicer. She deserves it. Oh, this car's been through a lot. <laughs> So I just went over again and got a lot more of the glue off and you can kind of see the original pan underneath. It looks so good. I honestly can't even imagine the entire bay looking that nice. But once it's looking like that, RJ, it's like a rebirth, right? It's gonna be even better than before. It's nice because we're not just like redoing something we already did. At least this way, it's like a- It's an improvement. It's an improvement. Update. Update. 2.0. And what do you think? Crusty, but once Brian does some work to this thing, That's it. Hold on, hold on. I don't know. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, a bunch of friends showed up. Perfect timing. You guys ready to push? That's my opinion. Or pull. <laughs> that reminds me I have something to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Idiot. Dude, look how good it looks inside. Are you ready? It's gonna be at your shop now. Oh yay. <laughs> You're gonna can't wait to see the floor. Yeah, you power washed it, right? Oh, I did what? more than power wash it. I did a portion of the floor. I like did the middle of it, so I can. I'm excited. I'm things. curious what comes after power washing. What's more than power washing? There's no drive train and seven people. Great job, Ant. Ant, just stay in there the whole time. That went really well. It looks awesome. I'm just so happy that we're making progress. That's all that matters. What's up? What did you just think? If you need to work on your car, just put it on the trailer. And I know it's what's great about the open deck. Get underneath. Huh? It's like a dry quick oil, quick oil change. Are you on the phone? Wow. Hold on, Michael. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do I? Oh, you washed it. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's what I expected. <laughs> um. What? What do you want me to think? Give wow. Me. Wow, Jim. You really cleaned this thing up. Really great. <laughs> Thanks, man. Really appreciate is, it. You, you really saved me a lot of time, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, you did. Okay, is, here's the thing. Ready? Whoa. whoa, whoa. The fuse box not coming out. Honestly, this sounds like a cop out. <laughs> Called it. What the hell? What do you mean? Uh, the, I mean, where can it go? Where can I put this while I paint it? Bring to the, uh, the hold ceiling. It where? Is it, am I gonna get paint back there? You want paint back there? Where do you not want the paint? Because if this stays there, then you gotta pick a spot that's not gonna be painted. Right on top, right in the open. Something's gonna happen. All right. That ain't going. That's nowhere. going somewhere. Stop that. That ain't going nowhere. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we're headed up to Brian's shop right now. Now, the last couple weeks, uh, Josh and Brian have been doing a lot of cleaning up. Uh, their third shop mate is actually moving out finally. I think we mentioned it before, right? 
So that means Brian and Josh will have more space and they'll have no more excuses to leave that shop a mess. <laughs> so <laughs> more space to put more shit. Love that. <laughs> so uh, they've been cleaning up. Josh power washed the floor and better yet, um, Brian and his brother-in-law, also Brian, um, they've been putting together like a makeshift paint booth in there and uh, it's coming out pretty awesome. It's like 70% done, maybe a little less, but you get the idea and it's really cool. So I'm really excited for you guys to see it because I know we get comments all the time, like get a paint booth, get a paint booth. Now, yes, a paint booth would be dope. It solves a couple issues, but just because you have a paint booth doesn't mean you put the car in there. You just push the car in there and it comes out, like you know? GTA. Is like GTA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, spray, yeah, baby. Right. Literally, there's so much more to it. But so um, for Brian's situation, since Brian's actually a body guy and, you know, that's 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 what he does. Um, it's awesome for him to have that at his shop so he can go and do his side jobs, make money and stuff like that. And um, and then, I, you know, I can send in my car as, you know, pay him to do it and it just everyone gets to do their thing so I'm very pumped for him i'm really excited i'm really excited to see where he goes with it but for now let's head up there and see the progress they've made at doing all of that sound good sounds great and what do you think great <laughs> here we go <sighs> going in some dude's backyard yeah are we good over here <laughs> <laughs> you never been here sammy oh i've been here i just don't know if we good i'm just kidding oh well it's a party Hopefully Josh brought his party supplies. <laughs> I'm sure he did. Look at that runway you got. He's got the glow glowing. I think you gotta take that out. Like it it looks it way cleaner. It looks way cleaner. You know why? Because it took stuff of the back walls. That's why, because you can see the walls. You yeah, usually can't but, see the walls. Yeah, but this is already good. This is a good. I'm real excited. Love this car. Your car looks awesome, by the way. Thanks. Thank you. It'll look a little bit more awesome. You're welcome, Chevy. That looks like really awesome. Look at this. Dude, this is so cool. Oh my God. I mean, so I've been seeing like, um, Hona's been doing Instagram stories of this whole thing, right? Yeah. And it, in person, it looks so much cooler. Awesome. I mean, Dude, this is awesome. It's basically all of it was free except for a couple of boards. Good so, job, Brian. That was good. That is really good. I had, I had most of it laying around. I got so, less, less than like 100 bucks into this, right? That's so cool. Oh, let's pull the cars out and we'll talk about it. So they're pulling the two S14s out so we get the E30 right in the booth. But man, I've been seeing it like built online, but in person that looks really awesome. And uh, just seeing like a cleared out spot like that is huge. I am super excited because I think um, Brian will be able to do some pretty cool stuff just with that little, that little setup he has right there. You're good, you're good. Yeah, good. Josh said he did the four, and I don't know if you guys could tell, but dude, it is messing with my head because it's literally like, it was like black before from just dirt. It, Walk over there. Or Look at even, this. Or even Look, at this. Look at that. What was that? Oh, stupid ant. How long did it take you? So worth it. Oh, a couple hours. So worth it. Dude, this is beautiful. I, I like I feel like I can kneel on the before I felt like if I was gonna kneel on the ground, I would total my pants. Now I feel like I can get on there and get underneath the car and do my thing. They won't get totaled, they'll just get dirty as shit, but this is clean. It's clearly what it was. We're, we're gonna do more of it, but obviously we gotta move stuff. We we do no, I know a little at a time, but dude, you guys are that's awesome. It's a huge totally different color. The floor looks wet. Dude. Yeah, it does. All right? Like a little right. wet concrete. This is weird. Like water wet? No, like like I don't know air. I, I don't know what to say yeah, to that. Did you put it in, like it's brighter? It's literally. It could be wet with anything. It doesn't just have to be water. Like brighter. Yeah, all right. Good stuff, Josh. All right. Oh, one, two. All right. Check this thing out. So, um, Brian and his brother in law actually built this thing. So, right here, this is just conduit bent fixed to the uh, existing loft. And then it's kind of it's drilled into the ground. Yeah. And then it has this baseboard right here with the you know, kick panel. So you can kick it and it doesn't knock the whole thing down. And then this is just a tarp. It's not a tarp, it's actually like some commercial building moisture barrier. I guess it's like eleven hundred dollars a roll. They had Holy. this left over from building a skyscraper. And then it's fixed to the wall here and it's dope because Brian has this exhaust fan built into the wall. Yeah. And this this has always been the cheat code for Brian's like 
uh, makeshift paint booths that he had here. So it'd be nice to try to maybe get that to spin a little bit faster, and then I am gonna finish this off and put intake filters, so we can just have you know clean air moving across the. So there you go. So I mean, what's the purpose of a paint booth, right? It's to have a clean atmosphere where you can paint, right? So dirt, yeah, dust, and, and everything. You know, normally you, you need you, well. A paint booth that has intake and exhaust, and it's normally moving the heated, air through it. Heated intake air. Um, that would be the next step. Is to like get a furnace and duck some heated air. But well, step number one looks awesome. Dude. Yeah, this, this is, is really cool. Is stuff. Are you are you gonna be taking this stuff out of here or leaving it in here? I think most of this is actually gonna stay in, and then I'll probably have like a way to just close it off when I actually do paint the car. Okay. So yeah, this will be so you can make mix your chemicals here and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean it's gonna be kind of a combination between prep and paint station because obviously it's just me doing everything right. so I can you don't need I can, stations you I can, just, can yeah. do the the prep work in here and make you know dust and dirt and keep the rest of my cars clean yeah that's um, huge like honestly then, right. like like for me a paint booth would have been most valuable just to keep the mess in let alone keeping a clean environment for painting yeah, yeah. and then, before we go to paint the car, obviously, we'll clean it all out and make it all dust free. But I love it. It's, it's gangster. This shop always been real cool because it has a really, like, early industrial vibe. Like, yep. you know, just like the colored cinder block, like, the freaking big old eye. Even that, that huge loft upstairs, that's yeah. all the loft. Yeah, it's just, it has, the, 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 the shop has so much character and it's, like, really cool to see. They don't make cinder block this color anymore. That's what I'm saying. That's why. You can't like, buy that. Yeah. This is dope. It's nice to just see this. Put a good old poster here. Some naked chicks on the wall. You know, real yeah, classic. Draw some shot. boobies or something. Got that upstairs. Nice. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm real proud of you guys. So this is awesome. Thanks. This is so it's crazy to see the Corrado here. <laughs> it looks fitting here though, doesn't it? It looks more normal. Here. It just fits. And what are you do? What are you guys doing up there? You're dusting. You're dusting a disco ball. Who would have thought? Shovel? Alright, the boys swap it out and it looks awesome, dude. It is so crazy just to see this wall in the corner. I love it. This is fantastic, dude. Progress is fantastic. It feels like way more space than before. Oh, it feels huge you in know? here. Which, in reality, it's just about the same as what I had it with the temporary. And all you had to do was throw out a bunch of garbage. Uh, yeah. That and build this nice thing. Yeah, you and Hona killed it on this one. So, I don't know, um, I kind of want to paint everything in here white. Yeah. Which I'll probably do eventually. That's a nice fresh start. And then we'll find out if paint sticks to that. If it doesn't, I could go get some white material. Yeah, Pretty exactly. Speed. There it is. You can leave it because we go, I want to turn it around. I know. So you, yeah, why would I finish my car when we can just do this? Simple. You guys got the wrong idea. 60 bucks, a steering wheel, and an e brake. You guys are burning tires like idiots. There it is. <laughs> Alright, well, we got the car turned around. Don't ask how we did it, but we did it, so. I'm actually really excited to see it inside there. in the booth. That's it. So honored. You beat me to it, Ant. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you can tell how perfect the booth is. It's made for little cars. I'm not paying no Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, this car's pretty big, dude, and it fits real well in here. Yeah. It's just enough, and I mean, this kind of kicks out, too, so it doesn't stop there. It goes out too. This is so good. All right. B-Hall's Body Shop. Love it. Where did you lay down? Why? Am I filthy? Yes. Where? You leaned on something. Oh, Josh, I thought you power washed the floor there, buddy. You were, 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 you were yeah, on the floor, that, you were on the wall. Not that spot. Oh, oh man. Total? Total? I know a guy you can get those from. But good news, Jimmy. What's if up? you buy another one now, you'll get entered in a chance to win a remote control mini truck. Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> Dude, okay, it's pretty late in the video now. So, listen here. What? We're doing the Jimmy Stimmy discount right oh here. Oh my god, I forgot. Yes. Yes. So, all Link products, 10% off for the next week. That's huge. Link doesn't let us do discounts very often, but they're letting us do a 10% discount on any Link product 
this week. I think it's automatically um, added when you add a product into your cart. So if you guys are interested in any link products, standalones, wire looms, sensors, whatever you want, some merch, look it. He's got the hat. Guess what? That's 10% off. Because of Jimmy Stimmy discount. 10% off from, from when to when? Today till the 28th. Till the 20th. So if you're midnight. looking to buy an ECU, yeah, sensors, all of it, I mean, you can save a part. ton of money. Yeah, you got like five days, four days. It's a lot of money. Sensors, ECUs, so, hats. Save yourself some money. If you have any questions, shoot me a DM. I'll help get you right with the link product. So, all right. So the E30 is here in Brian's new paint booth. This is awesome. Great way to break it in. I'm super excited. It's all in Brian's hands now, so he's gonna do his thing. He's gonna do his thing. Next time we see it, this thing will be beautiful. So it's all stripped apart. Brian, what did you think about the fuse box? We talked about it already. He has a microphone on the camera. Not the screen. But you. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> no. Yeah. We didn't talk about squat. Yeah. Yeah. So I gotta go home. I gotta drop the trail off. I gotta edit this video. You know, it takes like three, four hours. That's it's right. already Let's like ten o'clock at night. But <laughs> yeah. you know, I'll go yeah, then, right, then in the morning do all the chores. You know. You know. Pulling this hard. No, so, no, no. Uh, yeah, so Brian, um, thank you for giving me this opportunity to uh, yeah, get no, you to do we'll, this. <laughs> we'll get it painted up. And hey, Brian, thanks for uh, not painting my fenders. That's <laughs> yeah, uh, your fault, but okay. All right, so. Literally. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> look at him. These guys. Dude, how long did it take you to swap a Jay-Z? A year. Okay, that in that That's year, that I could have done the fenders, but you slept. You were busy. Too busy for me. What, what would it sound like? Done, what, what you know how many fenders I fixed? You know how many fenders I fixed in the last year? I had bigger fish to fry than fenders. But that's besides Literally the point. didn't. Let's end the let's. Dude wasn't frying no fish. You don't even fry no fish. The oven wasn't even on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And Brian, have a great oh, night. Got Peace. Me. <laughs>